Hey, what's up everyone? I'm thinking of an idea that I could use for cold weather camping inside my topper in my truck. It's a pretty small space, so I don't really want to put in a diesel heater. Those are very effective, but I think it'd be overkill for the small space that I have inside my truck topper for my Tacoma. And also the the Buddy heater, like the Mr. Buddy propane heaters, those are great, but they, they get super hot in there real quick. So what I'm thinking is, is this, this Yuko candle lantern, this is three candles that are in here, and I, I broke the glass case that goes around here, so I'm going to have to make one. Probably make it out of uh, like an old beer can or Coke can or something like that. And put a case in on here so that all the heat will go up here. But I've got this Eco fan which I use for my wood stove. And that pushes around hot air. And what I've noticed is that when I use this candle lantern in the past when I've used it in my truck, you know, this top part gets real hot which is great because I can put a single walled metal cup on here and keep like tea and... Uh, coffee warm and and I can actually boil water on here as well But I started thinking last night. I'm like, you know This works whenever the temperature on top here gets to about 150 degrees Fahrenheit and this will get hotter than that So the issue that I had with the truck was that when I would run this in my truck and have the candles going It created heat, but it would all just kind of just go up and then um, Just go into the top part of the topper and not really get pushed around and so I'm thinking if I put this on top here and light it light the candles and just see if it heats up enough to where the the yucca or the um the eco fan starts pushing the air around then maybe that would be a good solution for my truck topper in the spring months and fall i don't know about dead of winter because i don't know if it produced enough heat but it might so i'm going to test this out and light these candles and then if the fan starts going i'm going to come back and turn on the video and show you guys what what it, how it's working so we're going to give this a test shot right now Lo and behold, it's actually working. I'm floored that this is going. It's not going very fast, but it's starting to pick up speed. And I think that if I were to do the solution that I saw online, it's a, there's an idea of this guy that vehicle camps in a Prius, and he uses four candles instead of three. And he actually makes them out of a, like a liquid fuel, the candle lanterns. I think if I got that and, and put this in my truck topper, you know, there's a little bit of... I mean, you can feel a little bit of heat being pushed around. So I, th I think if I have one more um, heat source in there, like a like another another candle or another, if I switched it over to where it was the liquid fuel and had four canisters in there instead of three, I think this would work. And <laughs> I'm I am floored. So I'm gonna I'm gonna test this out this week when I go truck camping. Yeah, I mean the the fan it just keeps picking up speed, and it's 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 pushing out some warm air. So. This is possibly a good low-tech solution for warming up a really small space like a truck topper for cold weather camping. So I'm going to test it out this week and I'll post up another video and show you guys if it's, uh, if it's actually effective. I'll, I'll do like a, I'll have a, therm a thermostat inside the truck topper and show a before and after. It'll probably take a while to get it, to get it going as far as having a noticeable difference in the, the actual heat and, and temperature inside the truck topper. But I'll definitely do a comparison and show you guys if it's effective or not. All right, thanks for watching.